What's my point? My point is, the fool has said, there is no God. That's my point. Romans 1 verse 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. So what's my point? My point is the fool doesn't have an excuse for not believing in God. All you got to do is study creation. In fact, I want to challenge you. All you got to do is study one thing. Just take one thing, just like we took the woodpecker here, and we studied one of God's creation. That's all you got to do. Just study the tree. Study a blade of grass. Study the moon, the hydrologic cycle, photosynthesis. Study, you know, the power of the sun. Just take one thing, one animal, one plant life, whatever it may, and really study it if you want to prove the existence of God. As this verse says, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world, it's all been there from the beginning, are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that all people are without excuse. Now, I want to take you into the future. And this is when... This is on into the future. This is after the uh, Christ returns, the thousand-year reign of Jesus Christ on this earth, and then the second resurrection where all those who never had a chance for salvation is going to be given their first chance for salvation. And then after, during this time, the Bible speaks of an event that's going to happen. Jeremiah 31 and verse 33. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me. In other words, no more fools. From the least of them unto the greatest of them, says the Lord, I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sins no more. You know, those who have denied the existence of God are going to be taught ultimately true knowledge, true education. And not only that, God says, I'm going to forgive you of your sins. I'm going to forgive you of your foolishness. I'm going to forgive you of all those who have denied my existence. You know, when you think about that, the future is really bright. The future, the coming utopia, which is something I want to offer you here, uh, because this reveals when there will be no more fools living in the world. We've all played the fool before as I began on this program. We've all done that. I've been there. You've been there. We've all been there. But God forgives. Okay, but the future of what's coming, you know, we need some, we need a message of hope. We need a message uh, because, you know, things you think, okay, how bad can things get in this world? Well, it can get pretty bad and it's going to get worse. But the coming utopia, why has man's effort failed? You know, we're not going to solve the problems of this world. You do know that. It's going to take the return of Jesus Christ to this earth. And that's what this publication is about, the coming utopia. Paradise on earth. Christ is coming to this earth to set up his kingdom on this earth. And you need to have this publication. I'll send it to you free of charge. I won't charge you anything. I won't sell your name to a mailing list or anything like that. You can order it, or if you're watching this online, you can click the link at the bottom of the YouTube video. And you can actually upload or download this publication and read it for yourself. The Coming Utopia.